Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja, and today I'm going to share with you one of our newest products that we re that we have released on the DIY store. So if you're having issues insulating your crawl space or having issues getting good foam board sent to your house so that you can properly insulate your crawl space, stay tuned. <music> Okay, so what we have here is one of our latest products. It's an insulation barrier. It's actually insulation and vapor barrier together. Now, the cool thing about this product is the insulation is on the inside of the vapor barrier. It's got a really high perm rating, so it doesn't allow a lot of moisture to come through. It's four feet by 25 feet. So each roll is going to cover a hundred square feet of crawl space wall. So this way we can pack it. It's only about 10 pounds. It's easier to ship than foam board. It takes up less space. It's lighter than foam board and easier to install because all you have to do is use either your Hilti gun or your uh, Christmas tree fastener and put it, use your termite gap and install it just below the sill plate and let it drape down the wall. Now the only other thing you would need to know about is this is only a little over R8 the way it is. But if you add a first strip, a three quarter inch first strip to the wall, like maybe a piece of pressure treated one inch first strip to the wall or even a piece of foam board first strip to the wall. As long as it's a minimum of three quarters of an inch thick, you can do that every 24 inches along the wall and then you drape this over that and that air pocket that'll be created uh, between the, the block or the foundation wall and this uh, insulation barrier will actually bring this up to an R12. So we go from an R8 to an R12 whenever we add a three quarter inch first strip to give it an air gap. Believe it or not, air is a great insulation barrier. So when you got the, the cinder block or the concrete wall or brick or whatever your foundation wall is, then you put that first strip directly on that wall. You don't have to go all the way up. You can go maybe, uh, if you're gonna install this three inches below, maybe you put the first strip eight inches below the sill plate and then you tack this with the uh, Christmas tree or the Hilti nail or your masonry nail, let it drape over those first strips. So this thing is 25 feet long, so you could have a, uh, about six first strips for every 25 feet, okay? So very easy to install. It also has the, uh, the radiant barrier on it. Uh, not that radiant barrier is that useful in a crawl space, but it has uh, a radiant barrier along with the insulation on the inside and then another vapor barrier. Now I do want to set you at ease. This is, uh, you know, we, we're not using a reinforced here, uh, but it does have to be stitched together. So this is a cotton stitch. Shouldn't be a problem for cat urine odors. And, and remember, I know a lot of people think that I'm totally anti-reinforced vapor barrier. I'm not anti-reinforced vapor barrier. I'm anti-cat pee smell reinforced vapor barrier. There are some vapor barriers out there that don't give off a cat urine odor. We've seen them in use and they, they do great. I just caution you against those really cheap ones that are on the market. And, and my philosophy is, is that if we don't use a, a cheap product, we're gonna have better results. So this is not a, a really cheap product. It's been done in a way to where it's gonna insulate your crawl space. Then you would get a vapor barrier and then drape it down off of this so you don't have to have as much of our vapor barrier if you're going to use the insulation barrier that we have now on the DIY store. So great product. We're gonna put some packages together uh, based on linear foot, square foot, uh, what you're trying to do in your crawl space. So be sure to look for those as well. I'll put a link to our packages that now down below. They're just great if you're just looking, if you got a certain square footage and, and, and you're looking to address mold and humidity and, and all that kind of stuff, it's just easier for you to buy the packages versus trying to put all this in the cart. So my name is Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja. Hope you make it a happy and blessed day and we'll see you later. Pretty inside for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree Glimmering light, I am right where I want to be I'll be home for a couple of days Wander around with you You and me in the car